Hi, I'm Al Corland. Thanks very much for joining me. We are shooting some video up here in Vancouver, British Columbia, in a concurrent with the World Investment Conference, a great, great venue put on by Joe Martin, Howard Finch, and the rest of the folks at Cambridge House. I am chatting right now with a company that I have been involved with for probably the past four or five years. Uh, in the interest of full disclosure, let me say this, could they, they, once I say this, you're going to realize that I am very, very biased regarding this company. Uh, Animus, uh, Animus is a company that we began doing SEC work for uh, from day one. Uh, we continue to do SEC reporting for Animus. Animus is a fully reporting company to the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, so if you want any information that is guaranteed by law to be unbiased, just go to the, uh, the SEC's website and you can get all the information that you want about Animus. I am also an investor in Animus. Kathy and I put uh, you know, some, some dollars into the company, so we do own stock in it. So, as Bob Moriarty of 321 Gold says, I am incredibly biased. I like these guys a lot. One of the things that, uh, that, that really intrigued me the first time I met the folks at Animus was, number one, the advisory board uh, that was, in essence, instrumental in, in running the company at the time, and the company's president, uh, Greg McKelvey. Greg, thanks for joining me. My pleasure. Glad to be here. When I first started chatting with you about Animus, it was strictly in Mexico. You were talking strictly about the Santa Gratuitas property. You, as the former vice president of exploration for a major mining company, Phelps Dodge, knew the property pretty well. You folks continue to do exploration work down there, but you've also expanded into the state of Nevada. That's absolutely correct. And we, we started off in Santa Gertrudis. We have an entire mining district, 560 some square kilometers of a big gold property. And we're drilling today. We're excited about it. The drills are down as there we the, as we speak. Yeah. And I get these daily updates and I love them. I'm seeing the rocks. We like what we see. Assays, of course, pending. Uh, but at the same time, because we have a, a huge district and we were excited about looking for larger deposits, um, we've also wanted to have a growth strategy that allowed us to be expanding into other opportunities. And hence, when the hence Nevada, hence Nevada, yeah. and when that came along to to acquire both the Golden Arrow and the Kinsley Mountain prospects by Earn In Joint Venture, uh, we uh, we took that opportunity for two reasons. One, the properties do have exceptional potential for large deposits, which is what brought us out of retirement. And yeah. two, the people who are running it uh, have the experience and track record uh, to do it again. And that's Dr. Christensen again. He's, uh, uh, he, he is the instrumental person to make these things happen, much like John Wilson is for us in, in Mexico and exploration for us in other parts of uh, other opportunities. Uh, Odie is, is the guy uh, to, to run these and provide the leadership for these programs. So okay. good property, good people, yeah. doing the right thing at the right place. I'll back that any day of the week. Oh, sure, and, that, yeah. and that's exactly what you're doing. And, yeah. and you know, it's, it's good to know, you know, when I was introduced to Animus, uh, I was having dinner with Greg and Don Ranta and Jeff Phillips, and this was a number of years ago, but when I saw the players who were, who were involved with the company, that, that's what really intrigued me. The advisory board, for example, incredibly strong, headed up by, uh, uh, Catherine, Catherine McLeod Seltzer, I mean, an incredibly successful, savvy woman in the mining industry. And, and, you know, her involvement along with some other people really got me involved. And I have to tell you, it's been a long time now, and I don't regret a minute of it. Uh, you guys are doing great. Well, we appreciate that. Well, we're very fortunate to have people around us who can provide expertise and advice to us. I mean, advisory boards aren't hood ornaments. They are people no, who are. provide you the kind of experience and advice and counsel that you really need. And mm -hmm. Catherine, of course, is is uh, a seller in that. But so have, we have a number of other people, Steve Enders and Bob Bishop, uh, Jeff Phillips, George DeCannon, and, and so to name several. Yeah. who represent a broad spectrum of the entire industry, not just the technical side, but the financial sure. and reporting side as well. It has to be advising us. It's not only what we're doing now, but what we want to do. And we want to grow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing about you guys that I appreciate is so many mining, and I, I'm sure you learned this with your experience with Phelps Dodge, but so many mining companies, you know, the guy running the show, so to speak, wants to be the big cheese, and, and, and yeah. basically you run some of these companies, these folks run some of these companies like they're, they're little mm -hmm. private companies. Well, they're not, in fact. They're public companies, and you do have a responsibility to your shareholders. And I think you guys are fulfilling that responsibility, quite frankly, very, very well. Let's do an overview for folks who, who perhaps are unfamiliar with Animus. Let's, let's start out. Let's talk a little bit about the Santa Gratuitas project. 
Well, Santa Gertrudis was a, a discovery by Phelps Dodge in the late, late 80s. It was put into production in the early 90s as a gold property mined for leach, heap leach opportunity, rocks that look a lot like the Carlin District in Nevada. Mm -hmm. I say look alike because they are the right, right sort of stratigraphy. These, these, uh, that, that mining operation uh, for Phelps Dodge was sold to Campbell and uh, uh, unfortunately the price of gold did not treat uh, any of us in the business uh, no. well at that time and they went out of production in the year 2000. But during that period, uh, well over uh, 500,000 ounces were produced from Santa Gertrudis and on other prospects nearby, uh, we think a little bit more than 100, 150,000 more ounces. Um, since then, since that demise, we have consolidated all of the properties in that district. In the past, it was only just one. And mm -hmm. so that district has a, a track record of production, but it also has gold mineralization over a 20 kilometer strike length and eight or so kilometers wide, and a variety of different other minerals, which uh, suggest to us this is not just a single play. It's not just one drill hole that's gonna test something. Mm -hmm. This is an entire district. And we have been drilling uh, first for extensions of known mineralization and second to look for larger things. And then right now we're, we're focusing in on one, one target we call El Tigre, mm -hmm. uh, which is a very, very large intrusive related system, which is, uh, is metal uh, endowed, whether it's going to be ritual, it's have to wait for the assays to come back. But drill is turning and we're excited about that. And, yeah. and uh, at the same time, the leaching operations that were sub suspended in the year 2000 haven't gone away. Um, and we're looking carefully to see whether those make any sense. <clears throat> Got about two minutes left here in, in the interest of, of brevity, for lack of better terms. I want to move from Santa Gratuitous North up in, up in Nevada. This is a, a, a recent uh, area, a recent asset that you've got involved in. Let's talk about that. We are earning into two properties, Golden Arrow, which um, has a resource, announced resource on it. Um, and we see it as having potential for something potentially the size of Round Mountain. And uh, we're looking at that pretty carefully. And another prospect uh, called Kinsley Mountain, which is closer to the Utah border, um, not far from Long Canyon, in an area which hasn't received a lot of exploration in the past, but is certainly good now. And uh, we're starting the, that work out there, and we expect to see uh, drilling start at a Golden Arrow before the end of the year. And, probably next year for Kinsley if we get their work done. But we want to go back to basics and just do it right. Mm -hmm. Okay, real quickly, just do it right. That means what? That means doing the basic geology, understanding it, and doing what you have to do to make it work rather than just pull anything out of your, out of your quiver to, to do sure. it. You have to do the right sort of things, the basic things to develop good targets. And the, the lesson from Santa Gertrudis is it's okay to do geologic mapping if you come up with good information. Right, and, right. and we accept that. That's what we do. Same philosophy up in Nevada. Absolutely. There you have it. Animus resources <laughs> from the man's mouth, Greg McKelvey, the president of the company. As I said earlier, this guy's got a long, long track record in the mining industry, a very successful track record. So in terms of competence, it, you know, you really don't have to be at all concerned about that with this company. Interest of full disclosure, I already said we do the SEC work for these guys. Uh, my wife and I have invested in this company. I'm not a registered investment advisor, so I can't tell you to buy the stock. I can't tell you to sell it. But what I can say is if you want more information on a company that we're invested in personally, click on the banner on our website. Greg, always a pleasure. Thank you very much, Al. It's always a pleasure to be with you.